last Endeavour mission before its retirement is one of the most ambitious scientific searches ever attempted in space to track antimatter and dark matter in the universe. The International Space Station's AMS-2 module analyzes cosmic rays to search for missing elements to understand the origins of the universe. Outside the Earth's atmosphere, the hunt will be easier. Instead of the atmosphere preventing the observation of radiation reaching us in situ, we'll climb to an altitude of 400 kilometers to observe this radiation without any obstruction. The matter from which everything is made is only a very small part, 5% of the universe. Dark matter, 23%, and dark energy, 72%, are estimated to account for more than 90% of the universe's mass. But where are they? Dark matter is an important component of galaxies. It's a kind of halo that surrounds an entire galaxy, but it's very poorly understood. We know about it because we see its gravitational effects, but we do not know what it is exactly. The AMS, the largest and most complex scientific instrument ever to be installed on the ISS, will operate in very extreme conditions and it must do this with a very low power consumption. The space environment is extremely hostile. There's radiation, meteorites, a huge temperature range, and then we have to deal with electric energy constraints. This device consumes about 2 kilowatts of energy. The AMS detector will collect a huge amount of cosmic rays that, after traveling for hundreds of millions of light years, could bring the answer to some of the darkest secrets of the universe's birth.